everybody. This is Suna Oi reporting from Da Nang, Vietnam. On September 18, 2021, the President of Vietnam, Nguyễn Xuân Phúc, paid an official three-day visit to Havana, Cuba. This was one of Vietnam's most important official diplomatic visitations of the last several years. Vietnam and Cuba have had a strong relationship with each other since 1960. This relationship is so strong that Vietnamese people commonly refer to Cuba as our blood brother. Cuba was the first country in the world to officially recognize the Communist National Liberation Front of Vietnam as officially representing the people of South Vietnam in 1961. And in 1969, Cuba set up an embassy in the National Liberation Front Liberate the Province of Tây Ninh to show further solidarity with South Vietnamese communists. After the war, throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s, Cuba was also the only country in Latin America which strongly opposed the comprehensive sanctions placed on Vietnam by the USA. Over the years, Cuba has also sent many doctors and engineers to Vietnam to help us build farms, hospitals, roads, sugar factories, and so on. Cuba has also sent millions of doses of vaccines to protect millions of Vietnamese children in the 80s and 90s, including me. In return, Vietnam has tried on many occasions to show solidarity with Cuba's revolution. In the early 2000s, when Cuba was struggling with food security, Vietnam sent agricultural experts to Cuba to teach Cuban farmers special techniques for growing rice. We also delivered thousands of tons of rice to Cuba, despite all the fact that Vietnam was still dealing with material scarcity of our own at that time. The agricultural support which Vietnam provided Cuba was so successful that 13 years later, price output of Cuba increased from 80,000 tons per year to 300,000 tons per year. As of 2014, domestic rice production in Cuba met 50% of its domestic demand. And Cuba's official goal is to be self-sufficient in rice production in the next few years. In another show of solidarity, in 2018, Vietnam unconditionally forgave about $143.7 million in debt to Cuba. Last year, in 2020, when the COVID pandemic first started to spread around the world, Cuba immediately sent doctors and millions of doses of interferons, a specialized medicine for COVID-19 patients, to Vietnam. Cuba also agreed to provide Vietnam with the technology to make this medicine domestically. This year, Cuba has shared technology with Vietnam to allow us to manufacture the Cuban Abdallah vaccine and has shared 10 million doses of Abdallah with Vietnam, despite the fact that Cuba hasn't even fully vaccinated their own population yet. This month, Vietnam agreed to provide Cuba with 5,000 tons of rice and large shipments of medical supplies freely. This in addition to the 12,000 tons of rice that we already agreed to give Cuba in July. In this special relationship between Cuba and Vietnam, in which we freely exchange technology, experts and resources, money is irrelevant. It's a rare example of an international relationship based purely in solidarity and a shared vision for a socialist future. When most relations are based on neoliberal interventionism and cynical capitalist market dynamics. During the high-level meeting in the United Nations General Assembly that just happened a few days ago in New York, Vietnam's President Nguyen Xuân Phúc once again strongly called for the end of unjust sanctions on Cuba. I want to end my report by quoting our former president, General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Nguyen Phu Chao. For more than half a century, since our two countries established diplomatic relations, our two peoples have always stood shoulder to shoulder in the struggle for independence and freedom, side by side firmly in the cause of building and defending the socialist motherland in each country. This is really a relationship of friends, a brotherly solidarity that has become a symbol of the times, an invaluable asset that the two parties and peoples of Vietnam and Cuba will always reserve, protect, cultivate, and pass on to future generations. If you want to learn more about Vietnam, you can check out my channel Luna Oi right here on Means TV. Back to you, Sam.